Yo, what's up everyone? Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Today, I want to go ahead and bring you all a video on the CNC T4 tattoo machine. Now, upon looking into this tattoo machine, I tried to scavenge the internet for any information that I could find and I found nothing in correspondence to this specific tattoo machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take time within this video to shed light as much as I can for you all. So that way when you pick up this tattoo machine on your end, you'll know what to expect. So I wanna go ahead and do an unboxing. We're gonna look at the machine up close and personal here. We're gonna go ahead and you know throw it into a tattoo. We're gonna uh, see how it performs. We're gonna do the full nine right here in this video. So by the end of this video, you'll have a very good impression uh, as to what to expect upon getting this tattoo machine. So again, this is going to be the CNC T4. As you can see, it's brand new. I haven't opened it. Uh, this is going to be the side. This is what the box looks like. Bottom and top. I'm gonna go ahead and cut open on the side here so we can get this plastic open here. I'm actually very excited to take out this tattoo machine and use it. So here is the box. I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it. As you can see, it's sliding out on its own. Let's go ahead and help it there. And this is what you see upon opening the box. There's nothing on that side, just the foam padding right there. This is what's visibly present upon opening the box. As you can see, the machine's already looking beautiful. Uh, right out the box, it looks beautiful. And that's awesome that I got the red one here, as you can see. Now, let's go ahead and take out the grip. Now, right off the bat, this grip, um, it definitely does not feel cheap. This grip definitely does feel of quality. Um, again, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Let me go ahead and bring it up close so you guys can see it here. It has a CNC engraving there. It has a, a nice amount of weight to it, but it feels balanced. Like the, the weight is balanced. It doesn't feel overly heavy. Um, as you can see, it does have some engraves here, some gravings there for gripping purposes, which I find pretty cool. This is what the inside looks like. So you can go ahead and you would get cartridges, a needle cards, and you would just simply place them in like so. So as you can see right there, you can actually see right through it. Uh, this is what the top of the grip looks like. And we're going to go ahead and go over all the specifics here. As you can see, it's a click. It has a click grip. Which I think is going to be pretty cool. Now, this is a very nice grip. Right off the bat, this grip looks like of quality. It definitely feels like of quality. Um, I have nothing negative to say about this grip right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the grip back and check out the machine itself. I just wanna be careful how I pull the machine out. I'm gonna go ahead and I just press it down, this pops up. And it's like a, of an aluminum build, uh, the body, it, it's uh, of a, a metal, um, but this is definitely feeling like of a high quality metal, which is very, very good. This machine right off the bat feels great. This is what it looks like up close. This machine looks very, very nice. It feels very, very nice in my hand. Um, I have nothing negative to say about this machine. I love the way it looks. I love the red in person. The red is very, very nice in person. Um, right here, as you can see, this is where you would place the grip into, tighten the grip right here. Uh, this bar, you would sterilize that bar. Um, pretty easy to maintain, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and put the grip in there. So as you can see, you place the grip in like so. Once you have the grip in, you can go ahead and just tighten it back up as you see fit. Very, very easy to assemble, not difficult at all. And the machine feels very, very comfortable in my hand. Uh, I have no complaints about it. It feels very, very nice. I'm not used to this style of machine either. And um, for me to be comfortable 
I guess, you know, out the box like that. Uh, it says a lot about the machine. I'm not mad at the machine. I don't dislike it at all. This is, feels like a very solid and comfortable machine to work with. I can go ahead and add, you know, a little bit more grip on there for me. And I love the way, uh, the width of this grip. I love the thickness of it. But as you can see, um, it feels great in my hand. This is what it looks like. And I'm trying to shed as much light as I can on the cosmetics, on the look as to, you know, what to expect upon getting this machine. Uh, I am going to touch base on performance as well, but I do want to take more time and show you all up close and personal as to what this machine looks like. Now, as you can see, very easy to assemble. It is a beautiful looking machine. I'm going to go ahead and place it to the side and let's go ahead and see what's at the bottom of the box. So at the bottom of the box, we go ahead and we get a power cable there as well, as you can see, which you would plug into a standard power supply, which is very, very cool. I appreciate that. And that is what comes within this box right here. Now that is everything for the T4, as you can see, uh, this machine looks amazing guys i can't say that enough let's go ahead and give you all a 360 view again right here and if you're picky you can even line the grip up have both cnc's facing front should you choose Place some cart in there, like so. Adjust the different needle depth, as you can see. Needle depth adjusts just fine with a quick grip. This is awesome. I wonder if we could uh, put a wireless power supply and check out how it sounds on here. So bear with me, let me get a wireless power supply and we'll go ahead and check out how it sounds. Okay, I'm going to be using the WX2 wireless power supply. I do have a full review on this wireless power supply that you can check out on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and pop that on there. and We're going to go ahead and run this machine from this wireless power supply. So as you can see, I am using the wireless power supply and adjusting needle depth is fairly, fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, adjusting the needle depth is simply as easy as turning the click grip for here. I'm already loving this tattoo machine. As you can see, it's easily, uh, adjust it's easily adjusting the depth right there of the needle. It feels great in my hand, even with this power supply hanging back like that. Uh, the weight of the grip kind of, you know, balances out the machine here. Of course, granted, this is just for demonstration. I'm going to use a power supply upon um, tattooing, or I may just stick with this wireless power supply and, you know, kind of do my thing with it like that. Um, but as you can hear, it's running smoothly. No issues with it. It feels great in my hand. I'm actually very, very excited to put this specific tattoo machine uh, to use to see how it performs. Uh, let's go ahead and cut to a video here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all some more cosmetics up close one last time, and then we'll go ahead and cut to a video and show you all the performance of it. So you guys can know what to expect upon purchasing this specific machine right here on your end. Before we jump over to the performance side, I want to go ahead and show you all how I set the needle depth on the T4. So I simply get the grip and I go ahead and place it in like so. And with this silver lining right here, I kind of just leave a little bit of a gap like so. So that way when we put the needle cartridge in, there's a little space for the end of the rod here as you can see. Uh, oh, there's a rod in there. so. 
the end of that rod meets the end of the cartridge needle and there's a little bit of way for it to spring back and forth. So then you'd want to go ahead and place it in your cartridge needle. For this demonstration, I'm going to put on this wireless power supply and there you have it. And then from this point forward, you could adjust the depth of your needle with the grip to however much you need. So as you can see, we have like no needle there. This is actually really accurate. I love that it's a uh, click grip as well because once you find the depth that you want, it locks it in there for you. So as you can see, we're at this needle depth. Probably put it out a little bit more. That's perfect. So now I begin shading. Uh, right now I'm running at 5.6 volts. I'll probably take that down to five or so. 5.1, somewhere around there. This is gonna be a rain cartridge needle. But this machine feels great in my hand. It feels excellent. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels balanced. I figured before we cut to the performance side as well, I can go ahead and show you all how I'm going to wrap this machine here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and shed some light on that. Now, I have these little blue slips that came with my CNC WE tattoo machine bundle that I had purchased a while back. And um, these little blue sleeves came in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. But I'm just going to go ahead and open up the top here. As you can see, just stretch it a little bit. And then I want to go ahead and drop the machine in there like so, as you can see. Okay, so basically I have the slip on like so. The slip pretty much covers the entire tattoo machine. You can still go ahead and change your needle depth as you need. Uh, it's very simple to change the needle depth plug your cord in there and then you know put the clipboard cover around that side that's the idea i mean we're halfway there what i would do from this point is since i'm going to be tattooing for you know hours on end i'll grab a little bit of grip i don't want to make this grip too much bigger than what it is because i like this size grip right here i'm just simply going to go ahead and wrap it around i'm going to go ahead and pull this so that way the grip doesn't come off and then once I get a few pulls turning it, I loosen up and then let it start padding up like that. So wrapping the machine is very, very easy, very, very straightforward. It's not complicated at all. As you can see, the machine itself is now wrapped. I can go ahead and plug in my needle. We're ready to rock. This is on a clip cord, we're good to go. That's it right there. It's very, very simple, straightforward. Um, it's not complicated at all. And that's the idea behind wrapping it. That's how I do it on my end. As you can see, the only part that's exposed is right here, which we're gonna go ahead and sterilize later on anyway. It's very, very simple, very, very straightforward. We now have a protective barrier and we're ready to tattoo. Okay, so this is the CNC T4 hooked up with the uh, standard power supply. This time, as you can see, I have the clip cord right here. We're covered. Very, very easy. The blue film, like I showed you all previously, just put another piece over and we're covered. We are at five volts. And as, I, as you can see, it's pushing really smooth. The machine sounds really nice, consistent. This is at five volts. Let me go ahead and show you all what it sounds like or let you all hear what it sounds like at eight volts. Running at eight pushing like smooth like nothing no issues at all even running in higher voltages so let's go ahead and go back to the five i'm gonna go ahead and be shading this dragon right here using a three round liner and you know just some stippling uh we're gonna go ahead and do various types of shading here um upon doing this dragon, but I wanted to go ahead and show you all the CNC T4 and let you all actually see it hooked up. As you can see, uh, I left the cartridge, I'm sorry, I left the grip right here a little out. I didn't push it, you know, line it up with that black part. I left a little silver line, as you can see right there, and then I tightened it, which allowed me to push uh, in low voltages smoothly like this, as you all can see. So as you can see, this is a nice looking machine. It's easy, it's easy to wrap. Um, it's gonna be easy to clean up. It works well. Uh, we're gonna see how it performs for, you know, a few hours here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to a time-lapse mode here shortly so we can go ahead and 
check out the performance firsthand and see how it is. For the majority of this shading, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, five volts, what you hear, what you see right now. And we're just gonna go ahead and proceed accordingly from there. Now, right off the bat, what I will say is that it feels definitely different from the other uh, CNC Q2 and WE that I use. Granted, this is a completely different machine, completely different style, um, but I'm, I like it. I actually like it a lot. It, it um, feels right. It feels good in my hand. It doesn't feel overbearing. It doesn't feel too much or like it's too much. Ooh. Quickly becoming a big fan of this machine. I just wanted to go ahead and do the first couple of lines or shadings that I did on camera here with you all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the time lapse. Now it appears to be shading well. So what I wanna go, and granted I am doing this at five volts. So what I wanna go ahead and do is I wanna switch to a time lapse and I wanna go ahead and come back after I get some more experience and time with this tattoo machine under my belt. I can go ahead and give you all my honest opinion on this specific tattoo machine right here. So let's go ahead and switch to a time lapse and let's go ahead and get this shading going here. Okay, so we are a couple of hours into this tattoo as you all can see right here and the CNC T4 is shading flawlessly. I had no issues on this entire session with the CNC T4 whatsoever. I didn't experience any hiccups like in fluctuation and voltage. I didn't experience anything at all, you know, that was adverse or that would abrupt my workflow. The machine didn't even get warm. It stayed pushing the needles the entire time. For this entire tattoo, I did use the Rain Tattooing Cartridge Needles. I will go ahead and link a review to those needles as well for you all. But nonetheless, the CNC T4 Shading Machine performed effortlessly, flawlessly on this dragon as you all can see me doing right here. You do see me check in on the machine, holding it down or touching the body of it to see if it got warm. Never lost its cool. It was always cool to the touch. It felt great and this was like mind you eight to ten hours give or take of just shading back to back Upon this extensive amount of time tattooing. I didn't get uncomfortable You know the grip was very comfortable in my hand It wasn't hard or awkward to carry or hold this entire process. It felt like it belonged in my hand I was able to get a whole bunch of different motions you know, with the tattoo machine, regardless of the shape of it, it's not like a typical pin style machine, but that didn't deter me or stop me from getting the motions and fluid motions that I need to do upon tattooing. I also want to point out that the approach that I took for shading this dragon was a stipple like approach, which means that I pulled the shading line by line by line and I layered the different layers of stipple lines to get this sort of effect. With that being said, every single stipple line that I pulled to start shading this dragon, the T4 pulled it flawlessly. I didn't have any hiccups as I stated. I am a personal fan of this machine. I will be using this machine specifically for shading just because of how easy it was for me to do so. Like the results were achievable 
effortlessly with this specific machine right here and i personally loved it one thing that i did notice coming from like the cnc we the cnc q2 this machine right here the t4 has very little give which means what you put in there is what's pretty much going to stay like there's just no give on there which i wasn't totally used to in the beginning but during this process right here i got extremely used to very very quickly it wasn't hard to adjust and get used to the no give drive there however i personally love it the no give was cool it actually helped me get more accurate with my shading uh, so to speak because of that direct hit there that's just how I felt about the machine. That's just how I feel compared to the CNC Q2 and WE. Uh, the CNC Q2 has a very, very soft hit, which I personally love as well, but everyone's different. You know, I, now that it's great that I have the best of both worlds, I can go ahead and use a shading machine with a little bit harder of a hit if I need it, or I can go really, really soft with the Q2 to each their own. But I just wanted to go ahead and touch base and point that out. As you all can see, it was very comfortable. I had fun tattooing with this specific tattoo machine right here. Very easy to wrap, very easy to maintain, very easy to tattoo with. It feels great. The vibration wasn't overbearing. I am a complete fan of this machine right here. Also, one thing that I want to touch base on and point out that you're going to actually see here momentarily is that the CNC T4 packs black like no tomorrow when i packed black around that ring around the dragon's head there it packed it smooth the black went in with ease so therefore i can confirm that the cnc t4 does pack black well it will pack color well as well so it is also a great packing machine and i just wanted to go ahead and point that out for you all as well i'm gonna go ahead and let you all watch out the rest of this time lapse here if you have any questions at all drop them in the comments below per usual i'm gonna guide you in the best possible direction that i can thank you all All right, so the tattoo is pretty much done now. As you all can see, it came out great. It came out awesome. Before I go ahead and give you all my final review and opinion on the CNC T4, I decided to go ahead and top this video off with some lining. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a few moments to line a leaf right here, just to see how it lines and go ahead and close the video out. I'll give you all my full opinion after that. Keep in mind, I'm doing this because this is a machine specifically for shading, but for those who had the question of if it lines well, we're gonna go ahead and find out right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use a really small needle configuration. This is going to be a bug pin five round liner. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this at about seven volts exact. And we're gonna go ahead and see how it uh, pulls lines. Now, one thing I noticed is that the hit is just straight on, like there is no give whatsoever, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. So in terms of putting in lines, um, granted, I am using a five round liner. I feel if you get the right technique and application, um, I feel it could get that job done as well. 
for shading, it definitely exceeds expectations. It is flawless for shading. Now that is with a five uh, buck pin five round liner. So that is a tighter needle configuration. However, I am able to still pull some pretty decent lines. Running at seven volts exact with the bug pin five round liner. As you all can see, the lines are coming out saturated. Granted, I am doing multiple passes and kind of building this line up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of ink here. But nonetheless, it's actually, it's putting that ink in there though. My needle's a little bounced in. Let me change the depth. Yeah, my needle's kind of bouncing a bit. I'm not liking that. So when that happens, it's because your needle's hanging out too much. Better. Once you get the right hand speed with the voltage that you're using, this thing can actually pull pretty smooth lines as you can see on that one, it came out pretty nice. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a one pass. Not too bad, not as saturated as I would have liked it, but it actually came out really nice. That would have been a nice line on skin. On skin, it definitely would have stuck first try. One more line and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up and I'll tell you all my honest opinions on this machine. Okay, so let's see how this line stuck there. Now, as y'all can see, that one was a one pass line. It came out really, really nice. Um, so again, if you get your technique right with your voltage, uh, I think you can pull lines with this all day. It, it is definitely capable of pulling lines. Granted, this is the first time that I've ever pulled a line with this specific tattoo machine. So I'm sure if I got used to it, uh, the specific hit, you know, on how it hits, I'm sure that I'd be able to pull lines all day with this as well. So is it capable of pulling lines? Absolutely. Yes, it is definitely capable of pulling lines as well. Um, it is recommended for shading, definitely capable of pulling lines. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and close up the video. Uh, let me give you all my honest opinion on it. And if you have any questions, drop them below. Now, my honest opinion on the CNC T4 is I definitely give it a thumbs up. I definitely give it five stars. Um, I give it five stars because it is a machine designed for shading and it does that and more like it, um, it exceeds my expectations with shading it can it's definitely capable of soft shading it's capable of like really uh, saturated shading it's really good for packing it packed a black right here in the uh, dragon tattoo as you all can see let me bring it back it packed black really really well within this tattoo with no problem i use a rain seven round mag pack that black in there just fine. So it's definitely capable of packing black. It's definitely capable of packing color. It's definitely capable of smooth pepper shading, even soft shading. Um, this is all gonna depend on your gray wash. Um, so it does all of the above. It even does lining as well. It does smooth lining. Like I shaped up some of these teeth right here and uh, some of these right here, the fins right here on the top of the dragon, whatever the proper term for these are called. I shaped those out as well with the three round liner to a point. Um, so it definitely does a lot and more. I highly recommend this to any tattooist. The price is right for this. On top of that, I don't even think I've mentioned this grip right here. You can use disposable grips. So you don't have to use the grip that it came with. Like you can buy a box of disposable grips and plug them right in and you'll be good to go exactly like this. Just throwing those away each and every time without having to go through the sterilization process on the grip. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and point that in there as well. I definitely do recommend this tattoo machine. I think it is a great tattoo machine for any tattooist of any caliber and every caliber. Um, I highly recommend that you pick one up. 
It, it, it is great. It is um, more than what I thought it'd be. You will have it. My honest opinion is I definitely recommend it, especially if you're looking for a designated shading machine, a machine that does or that is designed for shading. This one is definitely it. The motor for shading is, uh, I feel it's correct. I mean, it did great on this Dragon. This is my first time using it. So I'm sure as I use it throughout the time, I'm gonna get more fluid with it. I highly recommend getting this machine. Uh, it's good for any and every tattooist like I've stated. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'm gonna do my best to guide you in the best possible direction. If you're not, be sure to give me a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and TikTok as I would genuinely appreciate your support at Daniel Yuck, D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. Yet again, I do appreciate you tuning in this long. I appreciate it. Have a great day.